Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I have a long speech that's on a prompter, but I have to start by saying, isn't this fantastic? Fantastic. I have been in this job for 14 years, and you can imagine in this job you have a lot of really good days and a lot of really good nights. This is right up there with the best of them. So thank you, welcome. Okay. In the spring of 1977, a bright young filmmaker released his newest creation. And it was a unique mix of science fiction, romantic fantasy, and grand adventure. A truly extraordinary film and an epic cultural event that captured the imagination of generations of moviegoers, changed the industry forever. So many of us remember seeing Star Wars for the first time. So exciting, so daring, just so great. And George Lucas is the person that we have to thank for bringing us its rich and textured worlds and one of the greatest mythologies of our time. Save it. <laughs> I like enthusiasm. For more than four decades, Star Wars has transported us to galaxies far, far away, to grand and exotic places, and into complex, colorful, intricately interwoven stories. Now, I'm sure some of you fantasized about traveling in hyperspace to be among the most diverse set of characters imaginable. The dark side and the light side, bounty hunters, space pirates, rebel spies, and all sorts of alien misfits in all shapes and sizes. Now, personally, I always wanted to sidle up to the bar of the cantina. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to do that? Although, nothing would have excited me more than to climb in the cockpit and pilot the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> and now, with the opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, we can do all of that and so much more. Star Wars first, first came to Disney when our Imagineers and George Lucas joined forces to create the groundbreaking Star Tours attraction more than 30 years ago. Star Tours fans. And in 2012, George entrusted us with his extraordinary legacy. And as you can see, we take that responsibility very seriously. <laughs> now, I speak for everyone at Disney when I express deep gratitude to George for giving us that opportunity. And when I first met with our Imagineers to talk about Star Wars, my message was actually quite simple. Do not be ambitious be the most ambitious that you have ever been. <laughs> After all, we are building on the legacy of two extraordinary visionaries, Walt Disney and George Lucas. <laughs> and both of those men embodied quality, innovation, and bold creativity. Both knew how to surprise people. Actually, both knew how to blow their minds with experiences unlike any that they had had before. And we knew that we had to walk in their footsteps and get this right for all who come to this happy place, particularly for those wonderful and passionate Star Wars fans. <laughs> Sensing there are a few of you in the audience tonight. <laughs> As I stand here tonight before all of you, knowing that we built something special, because I do, something unique and something very Star Wars in its scale, technical sophistication, and its artistry, and we are thrilled to finally share it with the world. So I want to congratulate and thank Bob Chapik, our chairman of Disney Parks and Resorts, <laughs> the president of Walt Disney Imagineering, Bob Weiss, <laughs> Scott Trowbridge and Robin Reardon, the project lead, and our incredible <laughs> and our incredible Imagineers, along with a phenomenal team at Lucasfilm, here for Lucasfilm. The Disneyland cast, come on. And the thousands of dedicated men and women who have given their time and talent to create this spectacular land.
As you can see, Galaxy's Edge is absolutely amazing. And tonight, I am honored to have the man who started it all here with us tonight for this historic occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, George Lucas. Thank you, Bob. Uh, I'll first say you did a great job. Thank you very much. Coming from you, that means a lot. Well, it could have gone very bad. <laughs> but it didn't as much. It's Star Tours on steroids at a level you can't possibly believe. And uh, I'd also like to thank all the Imagineers who, and others here that made this thing possible, because it's it's the first time that, because I worked with the Imagineers a long time ago, and we did, you know, everything was like it was in the olden days, where it was very hard to do anything. So now the technology is here. This thing is amazing. It's really something that you couldn't even dream about 20 years ago. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it was a great experience for me, and uh, I think that we'll... Uh, uh, you'll change your life. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, George. Thank you. George, George is a little awestruck because we, we, we piloted the Millennium Falcon earlier. I, I, will, I will admit that we did that. You'll get your chance. Anyway, thanks, George. Right. And now I'd like to introduce a man who won our hearts as the charming rogue Lando Calrissian, Billy D. Williams. Thank you. It was really nice to see you. That was my daughter who just came up with me. But thank you. I, 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 I'm so really happy to be here. It's been almost 40 years since the, the last time I played Lando. Uh, you know, people keep asking me, uh, how did I find Lando again? Well. Lando never left me. Yeah. <laughs> and being involved with the Star Wars has been incredibly rewarding to me. And certainly working with and being hired by this wonderful man was uh, a very special part of my life. And thank you so much. And happy birthday. As you probably know, I was your the original owner of the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It it's amazing, it's amazing to see her looking so good today. <laughs> and I'm so excited for you. You're going to get the pilot to do pilot the Falcon 2 <laughs> and experience your own adventures. You're going to love it just as much as I've loved it, being a part of this fantastic uh, franchise. To all the fans out there, thank you. <laughs> this land is for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Billy D. Thank you. Now, I would like to bring out someone who is near and dear to the hearts of Star Wars fans everywhere and whose heroic journey captivated us for over four decades. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill. Thank you. 
I have to tell you, the last time I was in a Disney park with George Lucas was for the opening, many moons ago, of Star Tours. And I thought to myself, this is inconceivable that I could be part of a movie that would get its own ride in a Disney theme park? I mean, I better savor the moment because it'll never be surpassed. And yet, look at where we are today. We get our own land. You know, Star Wars for me has always been the gift that keeps on giving, and the reason is because of you. Your parents tell you not to st speak to strangers, and everywhere I go, people treat me like, they're, like I'm family. And they're, the stories they tell me, they're, they're personal stories of seeing Star Wars, or, or reading the books, or playing the games, or watching the animated series, whatever it is. They're so personal and so heartfelt. It got me through troubled times. You know, I was going through a terrible breakup. My, my mother was sick. I met my spouse online. The stories... <laughs> the stories they tell me are so heartfelt, and I can't tell you how grateful I am to have been a part of it, uh, to be associated with a character that represents optimism and hope. And so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Walt Disney and especially George Lucas for teaching the world a new way to dream. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, tonight is our first opportunity to join the inhabitants of the planet Batu and live the adventure. So, welcome. This, this is just a little embarrassing. Is there somebody who knows how to fix this thing? Hey, no. No worries, no worries. You don't forget, this is the ship that made the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs, all right? That's right. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. Ladies and gentlemen, Harrison Ford. <laughs> All right, can you uh, help us out with this thing? I'll oh, give it a try, Bob. <laughs> Peter. This one's for you. Oh, well.
Ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is now open.